way back in 2015, we received this. Now, you might have seen these things at GameStop or somewhere locally. So what does this do? Well, it adds in cheats to your amiibos. Like, for example, see how Yoshi is, like, weak? So you select the cheat code, blah, 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 and guess what happens? It gets balanced and hacked. How crazy is that? But not only is it for hacking amiibos, it's also for saving data, like, if you want to... You know how it's like risky of saving your amiibos, like overwriting it? Turns out you can actually save data. So how cool is that? And it's even handier with Smash Ultimate and Smash 3DS, so it's completely handy for me and that. But however, something bad happened to it. Eight months ago, it got shut down. I don't think it was from Nintendo, I think it was something else, so yeah. Edit, your power saves still work, blah blah blah. Yeah, it... Bro moment. It didn't mention Nintendo, so I don't think it was Nintendo's fault, so yeah. So, how do we buy one now? We've always got eBay, and it cost me about $20. Do I have it? Yes, I do. So, here it is. This is the package. So, I'm gonna start unboxing it right now with the snap of my fingers. Alright, give me a sec. Huh. There we go. So yeah, this is it. Wow. Howie. So yeah. Oh yeah, and of course. Thank you MTZ2 Wholesales for selling me this awesome piece of art. Huge thank you to the seller. Respect. Alright, back to the unboxing. Before I even test out the power theme, let's talk about the base. So I'm guessing this is the amiibo thing that you can hack and put any amiibo on, by the looks of it. It's actually pretty small, but it does look pretty cool. So here is a comparison with the others, and it actually works pretty well. But hey, I still love the statue Mario. No one beats the original. So yeah. So what is this going to be used for me? Well, you know how I always like craft that golden Mario amiibo? Well, getting the Metal Mario requires patience, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a Metal Mario amiibo, put this thing on here, put it on the Switch slide so I can craft the Golden Mario amiibo easily. So, yeah. And this thing right here is... I will admit, this does look pretty cool, so I'm guessing you put this on here and you can mod stuff. But also, you can put your amiibos, of course, on it as well. I haven't tested this out yet, but I am going to test it out, so let's test it out. Alright, it's going to take me a while to figure this out, so I'll see you guys in the next few seconds. So it's updating the hardware, it's going to take a while, so while we're waiting, I'm going to test this out. This has nothing on it, I'm guessing, I'm not sure what to expect, so let's see what happens. Give me a sec. There goes nothing. <laughs> huh. So it hasn't been scanned yet, so it hasn't have an amiibo on it yet, so we're gonna keep this right here next to Lego Mario Luigi. We're not gonna be using it for a while, at least until I figure it out the code. Alright, after a few minutes of experimenting and testing them testing it out, I can safely say that this thing is definitely worth it. Worth it. Here's an example. Like transfer. You know how you type in your amiibo as always, like Luigi? So you want to here's the thing. All this information, as always. So here's the thing. You want to use both this Luigi and both Smash for Switch and the 3DS version. If you want to play as Luigi, this Luigi again Smash for 3DS, you will need to erase that Amiibo's data. Like, only Amiibo can store one data. And it's pretty, like, a little bit like a decision choice. Like, do, you want, do I want to keep this Luigi for Smash Ultimate or do I want to sacrifice his data to this? Here's an example. So here's an example. He works with Ultimate. Ah, crap. Give me a sec. There we go. And he can't work with 3DS because it already contains another data. But here's the experiment I found. So after doing some updates, now watch this. Just got to place him down here. Total game saves. And the best part about this, you can actually back up the day 
you can actually back up your data and restore it. Like that way you can have cloud saved so that way you don't have to like start your amiibo all over again. I'm gonna switch this to 3DS and Wii U and this is what happens. Bam. <laughs> all right, and here's what happens if I put Luigi on the 3DS version. I know, how cool is that? Now here's an opposite. So yeah, it says if you want to carry over, start from scratch. How cool is that? So yeah, that's how it works. So yeah, that way you don't have to like erase your data anymore. I got this on eBay, so yeah. But you want to see something cooler? Alright, now look closely. See right here it says attack defenses? I usually keep it that way, but watch this. You want cheats? You're about to see some serious shit. Apply cheat. Smash for Wii U. Stats codes. Random clash items. Level codes. Appearance codes. You name it. I know what that means, appearance codes. Special moves. Bonus effect. Character slots. Codes. Mm -hmm. So let's go to stats. You're about to use something insane. Are you ready? Communicate with the server. Check. All right. Now check this out. Prepare to be something insane. Are you ready? <laughs> How cool is that? Eh, but mainly I'm just going to use Mario for cloud save. So I'm just going to restore 3DS and Wii U Mario. Back to the way it was. So yeah. So yeah, this is very, very useful, like, so that way you don't have to, like, lose all your data again. So yeah. So yeah, here's Mario back in his regular form, and yeah, I like to keep that way. I also did the same for Sonic, Pac-Man, and Mega Man. And here's an example, since my Bowser's both the Wii U and the Switch. So here's a little catch. I made two game files, Smash Ultimate Bowser and Smash Ultimate and Smash for 3DS and Wii U Bowser, so that way I don't have to like delete one of them anymore on a single amiibo. Oh, if you want to delete them, like just, I'll show you later. So yeah, basically the cheat can work with anything. But what about this thing? What is the point of this thing? <laughs> Let me show you something. Yeah, sometimes it works. I discovered this and you have to like lift this up a tiny bit and yeah, there we go. So yeah, you can go to power tag and you can actually use the backup restore to like, and you can add your favorite character. Like, do you want me to add the powerful Mario or do you want me to add like Wii U Sonic Mega Man? So yeah, it's like having two amiibos at once. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, this is actually a cool feature. Like, I'm gonna do... Like, here's an example. I'm going to do SSBU Bowser on it. Oh, crap. Give me a sec. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, sometimes it's... Yeah, sometimes it will, like, glitch. I don't know if it's, like, lies a feather. And yeah, and here's what happens. How cool is that? Is that cool or what? The only bad news is it doesn't have Smash Ultimate on here because, like, it doesn't have Smash Ultimate because it doesn't, like, have... Unfortunately, it doesn't have Smash Ultimate because Smash Ultimate, of course, didn't, didn't exist at that time. Random serial number, uh... So this is the game that it came with, Smash for Wii U, Mario Party 10. I don't have any of the these games, but Breath of the Wild... I did test out Wolf Link, and I got all 20 hearts with me on my Wolf Link amiibo. So that way I don't have to, like, walk through the Cave of Shadows. So, yeah. Pretty cool. If you want to erase your data, like, just right-click. You can always right-click right here and, like, delete some of the data. So, yeah. Pretty cool. So, yeah. Bowser, Bowser, Luigi, Luigi, Mario, Sonic. Like I said, this is definitely useful, like, if you don't want to, like, remove your power. Or lose your data. Was this thing definitely worth it? Yes, it was. This was actually on eBay. And yep, you can still actually buy this on... Oh, crap. Give me a sec. 
Now, I understand this is, now I understand I'm breaking rule number one, like, now I know, I understand, like, even though I respect Nintendo's manners, I do break, I did break rule number one, never mod any of your Nintendo, like, products, but that's okay, like, it's just, like, all I'm using is transferring data between Smash Ultimate and 3DS. Don't worry, I still respect Nintendo's manners. I'm not going to be divided. I will always still be on Nintendo's side forever. Now, one last test before we get going. Can it work with a Spider-Man Disney Infinity figure? You know, I actually never tried it before. Let's test it out and give it a shot. Let's see if it works. Eh. Tough luck. The action replay is pretty cool, a huge 10 out of 10, so that way, like, if I play a different game with my Mario Amiibo, I can always erase that game data, put it on Mario Party 10 or 7, and restore my Smash data later. So yeah, the Amiibo reader is definitely worth it. I got it off eBay for $20. Hope you guys liked this unboxing video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace out.